like chocolate croissants that are safe now. I don't know. I'm making it work. I'm adding stuff in every week. We'll see. We'll see. I wanted to spectate the tourney, so after this game, remind me. That fucking d okay. This pig, this pig is just WK me. This, there's no way I'm able to stay and run. No, what? Look at this guy. Oh my god, this guy is a fucking pig specimen. Oh my god, is this what it's like? Oh fuck, bro. I want to go back to plat. This pig's scary. You have a pocket Anna, bro, and it's so unfair. Don't, 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 no! <laughs> Dude. Go fuck yourself. I'm not scared. I'm a master's tank. Fuck you. 95. And I lose. I'm in pain. I got shitted on by a really scary pig. That's what happened. You didn't miss much. I don't remember what I was saying, so hopefully you guys got the point or the gist or the plot or the whatever I- wherever I was going with that, I hope that you got it. Why did you- <laughs> That tree was kind of troll. The Reinhardt was charging towards the point, he probably could have tried to touch. Um, oh, nice man, Bob. You know who that is, right? Does anyone remember that name? Because I'm gonna fucking see that motherfucker in my dreams tonight. Right of the robot. No! <laughs> yeah, you should have went monkey. What? That's a diamond? That's a diamond five tank? No, this is diamond. What's this? Oh, is this masters? Because we're in masters lobbies. Oh. oh, that's GM? GM5? Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, express. I'm doing. Oh, that's GM? GM5? Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, Express, I'm doing ranked on this account and it's been a crazy day. I The first two games I just kept screaming like, this isn't plat, this isn't plat! And then we started finding out that the lobbies were masters. Yeah, I keep going against this fucking, this pig that he's diffing me. <laughs> I can't, I don't know. My poor support didn't deserve this. They didn't. They just did not. Unlucky. I feel like um, I was making good dives there or whatever, but I don't know. I just... I... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it's just the tanks I'm going up against. I'm not used to hogs and dooms. We're going back to hog doom at meta. What's happening, you know? Oh, man. These two were on my team last game. I was really praying that if I queued up really fast, I wouldn't get with the same people. I'm in pain. <coughs> How's it, Eric? What are you? What are you and my my little queen up to? My little cinnabum. I was talking about Cinna earlier. What was I raving, uh, raving about? I was saying something about Cinna. Or it was this morning. What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, I was playing with uh, Squirrel. And it was like 7 a.m. And we were playing ranked. And I was just farting around playing ranked. And uh, I was playing Moira. And there was we were losing really bad. So I just went full DPS. And the other, the enemy Moira was like DPS dangling too. And I was uh no maybe i was streaming no i was streaming i was dangling on a mercy the whole game and then i talked shit in chat and i was like please just let me have those cheeks type shit and then she replied that i was a really obvious moira um with and you know shitted on me a little bit and then i continued to go after her even more viciously because i am an aries 
And that's the end of that story. I don't remember where I was going with it. Oh, yeah! And then I... S <laughs> the Mercy said I used my alt once to try and kill her and she got away. And the Mercy said, corners are your friend. And I was like, that's so crazy. That's what Cinnabum always says to me. <laughs> what a fucking strange turn of events. Okay, okay. Bastion, please. Please. Okay, Bastion, please! My little engines I could over there. Just doing the most. Dude, we've played against Barack Obama before. We played against Barack Obama when we were playing with Cinna. Oh my god. Is this a master's lobby again? Did anyone see the rank? At this lobby? Damn, Barack Obama fucked my shit up. I didn't do anything but contest the point that whole time. I fought with a bastion and dick dance around a point. I don't know. Someone go back in the VOG and look. No, I can't rewind right now. Thank you. It's okay, Zero Cool. I appreciate the offer. It humbles me to bronze. I was gonna use a bubble, but I better shave it. <laughs> Basic! I can't bubble you again! How are you not getting that widow? Question mark. Is it the Anna keeping her alive? What's what's the problem here? Bring just standing still and beating that Anna to goddamn death. Bruh. Zen goes hard though. Like especially in gold, a good Zen is Yowza. Which one of my babies is Vinic? Zach, don't they? Zach, they want to fucking, they want to end your shit. They do. I am literally just a payload princess on defense right now. <laughs> They don't kick me off the front of this payload, so I kind of just get away with murder. <laughs> He's like bumping into me! I was trying to just bubble my friends because they didn't see me. We only had three people left. I was like, oh, I was my own guy. Hello. A danger for serious. Clover stream is unmuted on my other monitor. I just keep hearing faint stress healer noises. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Z is all in Apex, so I had to like triple check myself out. Okay. Was I stuck in a fucking trap there? Yeah. I was like, why can't I back up? I thought I got stuck on a corner or something. Isn't this so fun how there wasn't a single alt out there and I still got deleted like I was on nothing and people were like, You're playing Reinhardt! You're facing a bat window! I had 18 health before I stepped in the trap, Brita. Did he eat my alt? Did he eat my fucking alt, bro? Did he eat my ult? Oh, this widow is just going ape shit, and there is literally a bastion. I can't go Winston. This map did not show the rank and completely skipped when it shows the teams. What the fuck it did? Was I uh, on another screen or something? Is the Bastion name Arthur right now? Come here, Sig, you dota. Oh, and it's just 
chilling back there, dude. Bing chilling. Who are you going after? I hear her tap shoes, Widowmaker, but I don't know where the Widowmaker is. Ah, dude, she just eliminated my bat. In the shambles. Uh, uh, now the tank's just doing whatever he wants. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming to check it off, Sogi. I appreciate the love. This is Hurdy! I mean, we can try fucking Winston, but I swear this Bastion is only, like, the Bastion is just here for the tank. And if my team doesn't mitigate this Bastion, I'm not gonna be able to do much. I wish I could go Ram, but Blizzard hates it when people have an even fair advantage, so. Respawn Simulator, yeah. How many deaths do I have? Six. What do my cars? One. That's crazy. They must be sitting in the way bag, just spamming. There's no way. There. There's no way. I'm just gonna try and be a fucking meat sack. A uh, fucking just absorb the bullets or something, man. Try not to blow my cooldowns. I don't care what kind of baggage you've got. Don't bring it onto the battlefield. You're Here goes nothing. Mistakes. No mercy. It's four o'clock already. Fuck, dude. I went back to sleep this morning at like seven. So late. Usually I go back to sleep at like five. I was just like up watching YouTube videos. I stayed up till seven. I woke up at three. I don't know if anybody can uh, see that, but please, I'm trying. I know. I know. I understand. I get it. I can't. I can't even get a fucking heal off, bro. I could try D.Va, because at this point, I'm just as fucking bad with Hog as I am done with D.Va. So, fuck it. We ball. This is desperation mode. Hey, we're gonna lose anyway if I don't switch, right? So, like, might as well, might as well try to pop off. This diva is so clutch for, like, Bastion and fucking Widow. So, uh... I can just... Keep myself alive. Be slippery, Amber. Overwatch with 99% psychology. <laughs> if you get a melee shot on a tank as a baby diva, you should get your mech back instantly if you live. <laughs> it should be like a game of tag. If you're able to tag the tank and run away, <laughs> you should get your mech back. <laughs> Dude. Defense matrix into the Bastion turret. Fly away when you're low. Mm, the purple is such a nightmare. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, so much for the sneak flank. And the shamble chat. Mark it. Mark the time. Mark the time! Is that a junk rat tire when my whole team's resetting? Mm. 
I didn't want to come all the way in this room. I didn't. I really fucking didn't. Oh, I'm giving him shield. I'm a silly lily. Almost made a really impulsive decision there on a character that I am not good with. I should have fucking if I would have had another spare second I could have got like three of them without mech drop or something. 420 bowl and forgot the bowl. Oh 420 bowl and forgot the bong. Unfortunate. I'm gonna smoke a bowl after this. And we're on Diva, yeah. We marked it as desperate. Can we get a desperate counter? We have so many counters, but I feel like desperate is a counter that we need to have. I always look over and say I'm in shambles or it's shambles time or I'm desperate o'clock. I don't know, dude. How many counters is appropriate for a Twitch channel? Fucking fuck, dude. Where does this dude go? Look at this. Look at this. What am I supposed to do? I played every tank, bro. I got bashed into every fucking tank. Like, how, how do you survive in a master's lobby when the bastion is just mowing you the fuck down? Shambles. Yeah, that's probably a good one. One in ten, 3k damage. I got shut down so fucking hard. It's unreal. That was crazy. That was crazy. As a matter of fact, that's going to be my first VOD review for Cinna. Thank you. How do you get a code, chat? Tell me now! History replays. Share. Cinna. And I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to DM Cinna and I'm going to say Cinna, please. I will do the official way though. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh. <laughs> I need to know how I got positively fucking annihilated and no one else on my team did. I need to know! I'm gonna, well, I DM'd her the fucking code, and if you're gonna do that, please tell me or at me so I can participate, because I fucking, I'm in shambles. I fucking don't understand. I don't oh, understand no, why everyone no, else on my team no, had different no. stats than I did. Like, I got absolutely Amanda shit on. Amanda just rejoined Toad City. Seven months. Seven months of riding this retired Reinhardt train and loving every minute. <laughs> retired Reinhardt train. I'm not trying to be a retired Reinhardt. Yeah, dads. Send us here to pee. Let's go. I love my I love my queen. Uh, thanks for the seven month reset, the mandolin. I'm gonna smoke a bowl. What's this tournament doing? What's the tournament? What's this tournament doing? They're setting up a lobby. It looks like. Um, so we can play another one. Probs. Do you want to do it offline or right now? Oh, I don't care when you want to do it. I just want someone else to put eyeballs on that fucking VOD and tell me either how I can prevent a shittening from occurring once more ever again or validate the fact that I did everything that I could. One of the two. Yeah. <laughs> like, was my ADD, like, was I just, like, ADDing out the whole time and just, like, not paying attention? Like, I don't under, I, 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 I fucking, maybe I wasn't paying attention. I am anxious. Why are you sorry, Mel? A thousand and one is crazy, but for a Reinhardt main trying to survive a horse meta... I feel like it's not that much. I'm going to watch. I'm going to just play it, I guess. I'm going to I'm going to try to figure it out myself and then see if it fucking matches with what's on the side because I don't fucking. Ready. <sighs> Whoa, 
whoa, whoa. I'm drunk, chat, sorry. All right, we're on defense. This is too high in the sky. No one's died yet, so we have time to figure this out. I knew I now that now I understood on the first point that this is what I was doing, that I was one v one in the bastion. Look, I keep looking over and giving bubbles. I knew it was happening this time, and I was like, "It's working because they're split." And we held this for a while. I just played fucking ring around the rosy, but yeah, okay. My team on the right here is dying, and then the bastion annihilates me. Okay, okay, okay. So whatever strat that was, did not fucking work. But if I would have went over to them, the Bastion would have just mowed everybody down. I feel like... Now I'm second-guessing myself. I'm sad. Soldier kind of popped off here, I remember. I'm just standing up top like a weenie. I love that for me. I'm gonna smoke this bowl. Oh, you want to do it now? Yeah, if you want to do it now, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I didn't know if, like, you wanted to, like, not do it. Like, I kind of just dropped it on you impulsively. <laughs> so I felt bad. But yeah, yeah, I'm down. I'm down, the clown! If you join the recording room, I will move you in. I mean, the waiting room, maybe? Yeah, Val, I always check the VOD. Usually it's to see where the weakness was because I fucking confidently know it's not me, but... Sometimes I enter a match and I just cannot fathom. I can't figure it out. I can't. If a bot sees Sita in the waiting room, can you move her into the Uzi What's its room? Yeah, I always catch something I didn't see in the VODs before. Like, oh, that person I got shit on by fucking this person, or I was over here when that was happening, and I had no idea. Every time I peek here, I'm losing half my health, man. Oh, break went purple and ended it. The Bastion's nanoed, and I'm hiding for my life. Oh my god, I try to back up here, and I just get fucking... <laughs> I can't, it's harder to watch on the replay, dog. I can't... I have to do this twice. Oh my god, look at how far up they are. And somebody just got picked off, my drunk rat. And now my break is gonna go, and then we're staggered. <laughs> I don't want to watch anymore. Here's my dumbass. What are you gonna do, idiot? Are you gonna run out there? No, you're gonna wait for your team? Good job. You're a fucking good tank. You got a brain. Let's go. Okay. Okay, she has permissions. Perfect. Uh oh. Tell Senna that it has to wait and that I am supposed to be filling in for this tournament and I'm sorry and I have a problem with uh, attention span. Have Overwatch is live. I see it now. I am okay. here for it. So, what do you feel like went wrong in this game? Before I watched a very small a, a tidbit. A little tiny smidgen but i just i don't know i feel like there was like splitting up and there was a couple of split up times that happened there was a couple of times where we just got pushed back where i was holding the objective and my team was holding another time i don't remember i feel like in game my assessment was i fucking got rolled every single fight and and there was nothing right, i could yeah, do about I think it we're, i think we're out now so yeah, no that's what sunny just said okay uh, I had to turn the source down so you didn't choppy. Okay, so right away, um, I just want to do a disclaimer of like you just got thrown into masters lobbies because what the fuck, right?
Yeah, so obviously, like, you didn't even get to play through diamond lobbies, so you didn't <laughs> lobbies. Thank you. I know you got thrown in, though, because you have a high hidden MMR from Quick Play, and this is how they try to counteract Smurfs. So, unfortunately, they thought you were a Smurf from your hidden MMR. From but Quick I'm <laughs> bad, okay? I'm mid. No, so, but you know what? This is like a really fucking excellent learning opportunity for you. This is like cheat codes. You got to play in a master's lobby. So when we- I was doing okay lobbies, for the majority of the day. And then this match was like fucking crazy. This anyway. is cheat codes. We just, you got to yeah. get plunked in and seen how terrifying it is. <laughs> so, the tanks were a lot better. And the healers were really good. <laughs> I couldn't get them. <laughs> So right away, this is a really good spot to play. So when you play Shambali, um, can you guys hear Sun? Okay. Obviously, you take height. You play height here, and then you drop down. I'll turn it up when a you're on attack, okay. you don't ever run it down main. No you way, usually yeah. run it up left and push them off high ground because this is a horrible spot to contest from high ground. So aye, aye. this is a good spot for you to be. I like that you're playing right here, or you can play right here. Um. I don't stay I'm, here. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna give you, like, the fucking nitpicky dumb shit that, like, is gonna make you excel. Um, it's gonna trigger my would, PDA and I'm gonna hate you, but I love you for it, okay? Just so you know, I'm gonna look grumpy, I, I'm but gonna, I'm gonna be okay, okay with it. I promise okay. I'm gonna be gentle. I'm not gonna be sarcastic. <laughs> I'm not gonna be rude. I'm not gonna roast you. Like, this is literally, I'm not gonna be like, Amber. Why did you do this? <laughs> I'm like, I'm literally just gonna be objective, and this is what people look for in the lobbies. I, I, um, I, promise I got called a shit gonna... tank in every game. They hated me up here. They You're fucking not a shit hated tank. me. You just don't play in this. Right <laughs> they fucking hated <laughs> me here. We're gonna here. change that. We're gonna use this. <laughs> so right away, honestly, you and Soldier could be swapping places here. And the reason why is Soldier can play farmer aggro like up here and here, and you get bubbles off him and high energy for free. And you have a shit ton of cover here. So right away, you want to be playing a little further back. Because in Masters, those bubbles are barely ever for you. They're for your dumbass DPS getting you that free charge. Yeah. Because they know better in Masters, right? They're not going to shoot you. Bitches. So this with bubble. Because mm. with uh, Zara is such a high carry potential tank. So I want to like really make you just fucking nasty with it. Um... So yeah, like I already said before, don't use bubble. There's a rule for bubble. You can use like one bubble to get to 40%. You can use two bubble to get to 80% of like poking and doing damage. You know how to do that. You poke all the time and try to get charge. Once you hit about 60% charge, you're saving your bubbles to be proactive to protect your teammates. You're not using it to get more charge because you could melt someone at that point. That's fair. So here we've just blown a bubble. And in Masters, this Widow has probably said to her team, Zarya's down a bubble. Like, that's how fucking mm. uptight Masters players are. And mm. they have a Bastion. So Bash can actually counter Zarya if he's got two brain cells. He just waits for you to use one bubble, and he'll burst down your bubble and then kill you. And it doesn't matter how high your charge is. So Zarya is kind of similar to Ana in a sense of in higher ranks, you don't blow your cooldowns on Ana because people are going to call. I mean, you do it. You say no dart, no nade. They do the same thing to you and Master, so you're, the enemy tank can take advantage of you. So now we've used both bubbles, and you only have seven charge, so they can push up on you, and you're going to be slapping them with a wet noodle. So this is where it's nice for Zarya, of what I was saying, to actually play further back. This brig is a tasty little morsel for the enemy widow. She wants to get this brig so fast. Do you know how much energy you can get off of brig just because this widow's going to poke this, this brig? interesting yeah so you're gonna want to play back here and you want to do some scouting i do this is a good spot to be i like this this is good and i like that you were watching them come up here this is this is good amber let's see how long it takes to go back to the doodle so as you can see <laughs> sigma has decided this is what i was talking about he's like it's my job to make the room for my team notice how he's not playing with his team yeah. But Sigma can Ugh. win almost NV any 1v1 with a squishy. So he's like, it's my job to get you guys off height so my team can push it down main. Realistically, Bastion or someone should be up here with him. But you know, this man, he's got he's got places to be. Time mm -hmm. to do, you know? <laughs> so here, this 
<laughs> Can I just um, watch my man get vaporized? <laughs> Brick shouldn't have left height, I'm gonna be honest, but that's okay. Uh, here, you and, you and Soldier are gonna hold it down. So I'm not gonna tell you every time you used a bubble wrong because I've already broken it down. You use your bubble and your DPS. I don't need to keep fucking yelling the same shit. It wasn't it wasn't so a here, hard corner yet. It wasn't a player you and corner. Can absolutely poo poo cuck on Sigma here. He gets bubble. You don't ever get bubble. In unless like, you know, you're 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 you have to use your bubble and your health as a resource. So your shields, you've got half health, half shields. This shields is a hidden ability for Zarya in the case that you can dip into this and it's going to auto regen, right? So in Masters, this is your third ability and it's dipping into shields and only using bubble when you start to get here. Because you'll notice when like you're playing another tank and you're fighting an enemy Zar and she gets here, you're like, oh, the bitch is low. We can get her. We can get her. And then that's when they bubble because then they're shooting at you with desperation and bam, now that Zari is up to charge again. And it's the worst when you get Uno reversed by a Zar like that. That's what you're going to be doing to fuckers. And I'm Hopefully. telling you in plot lobbies, if you get like your bubble management and your health pool management, you're going to shit on DP. Like it's just going to be disgusting, which is why I want to, I want to mold you into a weapon so I can pocket you. I want, you up here. I want you up here in these lobbies with me. I want I want you up here with me, and I think I can help scale you. Scaly up here. I believe in you. No, it's not scaly. We just got we just got slowed down. And it feels the first time I played in Masters, I almost I was my heart was beating so I was fast. So anxious yeah. when people kept saying Masters too. Yes, I was like, yes. not a lot here. And it's so scary because like you know, in playing gold, you're like, oh, we're all a bunch of little shitters. Who cares? <laughs> Whereas when you're in What's Masters up, and GM, you're like, I could be ruining someone else's game. And they take this rank very seriously. And that's even scarier solo tanking. So I totally fucking get that of like, I am the tank and there's only one of me. And if I fuck up, I fuck up. So those <laughs> nerves, that's normal. It's okay that you felt like you wanted to shit in your own pants. You know, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst when you're missing like every shot when they're standing in front of you is on and fucking masses and you're like I thought we were over this Sarah why are we missing every shot in masters so we okay. were better than this <laughs> we're better than this so here bubbles go towards soldier you're gonna you're gonna do poking like you are here and he's gonna do all the fucking work for you and you're gonna take no damage how thoughtful of soldier <laughs> so <laughs> if we had both bubbles here this you would have already gotten almost 40 charge off him i and now you left <laughs> and see this soldier is doing enough for this sigma's like i should back off whereas if you stay on this high ground and you push sigma with soldier you might actually be able to stagger the tank or you can force the on it back here to blow all of her fucking cooldowns just keeping that tank up that makes sense so that's the value of her bubbles here um you don't always have to touch for giving tank. Nick. I know you have like PTSD from like your team literally forgetting about the objective. <laughs> Believe me, yep. <laughs> but um you have like a brig and a junk rat here that's gonna be able to contest this. You wanna hold this height on Shambali for as long as you can. Like this is so fucking painful. Like, let's just look at from like widow's perspective of how painful this is. Do you see? Like you can literally yeah. back up a play this corner and now yeah. widow has to like put herself way over here to get a peek over here like this is how you zone widows out is you literally just use the maps you're like stupid can't fucking see me suck ass you know i'm repeating that verbatim next time yeah please <laughs> <laughs> so here because we've blown both of our, our our bubbles because you were trying to get poke damage initially oh, glory, if they decided the that they, they were going to hate crime you they were going to hate crime you but they're not paying attention so that's good for you so you can poke here and do this if you want. But now you can see that Sigma has come with backup and your soldier is the only one holding height. And to be honest, your BAP should be up there with him, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Versus, so you have to go take yourself for a mental health walk to come back up here to help soldier. Whereas if you hold this height, all this pressuring you were doing on Brig and Kiri, you'd actually have an easy, even easier time doing here. Because if Brig wants to, or if Basha wants to go, fuck you, I'm using turret for him, you just go, oh no. Anyways, oh no. And just fucking wait. And then, you know what I mean? And then at the last two, three seconds of his ba his turret form, pop bubble and get some some energy, you know? And then, Hold you on, turn around take and a breath! Like, 
Alpha Foxies, thank you for the 15 <laughs> like, community gifties. I appreciate that so much. That's very generous of you. We stay up. We stay up. Pause. Um, yes. That's an extreme amount of money to give to somebody on the internet. And I just appreciate the fuck out of you. That's very generous. If you got a gifty from Alpha of all Foxies, please come out of the shadows and say thank you. Pipes in chat. Very generous. Oh, Jesus Thank you Christ. so much. I, Sorry. <laughs> I appreciate the fuck out of you. Okay, I'm ready. I'm a sponge. I looked and I saw it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for hitting the shout out button as well. Okay, so here you should still be up height and you and your soldier are going to be homies. You're going to be touching butts, touching Sigma's butts. Do you see how frustrating this is now that you're sitting here and he took height from you and now you have to be the one looking up like uppies? Whereas Zarya, like, you know, he can only block you with shield and you can use bubble to block his rock. Like, he can't use a lot of cooldowns on you and you can help the soldier. If we were still up here, you just bubble soldier and he's not even going to be able to push this high up. And then you get to hate crime this little baby right here. Which Wonder Bread doing. literally gives me diarrhea, <laughs> say less. <laughs> so the first thing is, um, the too long didn't read. Play up height for as long as you can. Um, you can even rotate in here if they get it around the corner and pressure them. Because the biggest thing in Shambhali is you win the fight and then you push payload. And then you take a fight and win the fight and then you push payload. Otherwise, I, I, I've seen it happen in your games a lot where the team is just fucking split and they have no clue what they're doing. And then you're just chasing mm -hmm. half the DPS doing one thing. You just literally contest this height, take this height over, and then push payload. That's how you win this first point here. So that's what Sigma is currently doing right now, is he's flushing your DPS out so they can't back you up. That's what's happening here. So here, I think you contesting the Bastion, you can now take advantage of this. I liked that you'd played this where you're like, okay, they're split up, then I'll take, I'll take point. You got some bubble off that. Right here, <laughs> Amber's. <laughs> she's looking for you. On a wasted bubble, if we saved you or, or she wasted her nade, if you saved your bubble a little bit, you could have actually killed that Bastion. You could have done a cheeky one. Mm -hmm. But this is good that you're playing this corner here. The only thing that sucks is <laughs> your team has completely fucking rotated away. Um, I actually want to see where your BAP. Okay, BAP is trying to help you. That's good. Um, Brig and Bap should have just been this corner to begin with to help you, but this wouldn't have happened if we just, like, took this corner and then, because even if they pushed up here, now you and Soldier have this, Bap can keep that window, and you are still holding space for your team. They don't get to exist for free. Mm. And then, maybe these two boogers would feel more, um, courageous, because they rotated out pretty fast. So that's just what happened here, is we just need to keep this high ground. But this is good. This is if if you get out of this, what I would try to do. I would try to literally hide my fucking ass here and hold my breath. Mm -hmm. And when I get two bubbles, fucking run. <laughs> Just fucking make it. Literally double bubble your way out because then you have Brig here that can help you because she has a lot of sustain. And then Baptiste can literally rotate back up this way and keep you guys up, and then you can take a second fight here. That's that's what I would have tried to do here, because this is not a fun situation. <laughs> I'm in the trenches, baby! Yeah. Send so those VOD reviews good. every so day on stream. That's the other thing. This yeah, is follow her on Twitch you, and then get in her Discord. And you almost have your Redeem second it. bubble back. You could have actually like been like, psych, and pushed back up here to take this height over. And then if you take this height back, you get that stinky widow. So we know what happens here. This was just messy. That's basically how we 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 play that point here. We're not trying to relive old trauma. <laughs> so we're trying to figure out what we could have done differently. So here, this is still very winnable. They've got a shit ton of ults though, so that stinks. But so do you. So you know whatever. Here, I think you end up like coming back up and poking there. Yeah, so usually now I'm going to just break down how Shambali works because like this is how like Masters and GM, they just they have this fucking 
fast track to the formula of how you play each <laughs> fucking map. If you lose first point, now you come here and you poke this. Because at this point, you got to hope you have um, alts. You poke this and you guys do tippy tappies at each other until someone goes, ah, and then touches. <laughs> and then that's when you use ults. <laughs> this is so sweaty. I know, I know but let me tell if you learn like the pedantics of masters. When yeah, you the corners are just that, fucking different in lower elos. Like, why are they so different? But if you learn that here, you're going to watch <laughs> flat lobbies and see how fucking slow people play and you're gonna just mm. walk on them you know <laughs> so this is this is gonna just you're just gonna slingshot out of plat because of this because now you get to experience how fast they play right and you're gonna be mm -hmm. better this is all a learning opportunity my favorite is when i get my ass kicked because that means i have so much to learn i'm fucking humble <laughs> yeah. so here we see you have soldier visor and you have window. That is a classic example. Bap's gonna window that and soldier's gonna visor. From here, they have an Ana, a Widow, and a Kiri, which means you can get a disgusting amount of energy just bubbling that soldier or that Bap using window or visor. So you would just play up here to start. <laughs> no, Jax, unfortunately, in lower elos, it's every man for himself down there. Good luck, Godspeed. Junk crash should not have fucking peaked that. That's a junk rat issue. That's not an EU issue. You he bubbled did. him on exit, which was good, and he touched, which is perfect. And then you can follow him after if you wanted to. Who's on point right now? Oopies. There we go. Okay, it's just Brig. Okay. Yeah. So this you can bubble him. You did you you had the right you had the right thing. You're like, yeah, he's gonna take damage. I get energy off that. That's good. You can push up with him though on this. As soon as he gets like I think you'll notice, like in Masters Lobbies, I think you said it on the Coliseo map where the you got you they were technically down a tank, but they were still like fucking hungry little dogs biting at your ankles. I was very if upset about that, yes. Yeah. If you're down one, it's still fucking winnable. The DPS just have to play harder. So that's why as soon as you see this pick, you fucking just send it with that soldier. If you would have like, so I liked when you let him drop to touch for you and then you bubbled him and you were like, mm, thank you, soldier. And then once he gets his thing, drop with him and push up faster. But this was good. You played this slow and you let people use their alts rather than like panic touching point that was good you played that well so now here is where i was talking about the rule of like now we need to get some energy because we have limp noodle again <laughs> you're gonna see the dps now soldiers like i need to get my alt fast so there's always going to be poke and poke and poke to try to build a ball this is where you get your energy preemptively not like swinging and being like look at me it's oh look at my stinky soldier he's peak he's, he's poking you or this Brig who for some reason likes to just take damage for no fucking reason. I, I, I like, what, what, I, I'm sorry, I just need to see what the fuck's going on here. <laughs> I was also curious what was happening in there, but I don't know. What are we doing here? Um. <laughs> Farming support all. Well, okay, so, uh. <laughs> Yeah, that shouldn't... I don't know. I mean, I guess Junkrat could take this and... Okay. Anyways, that's interesting. This would have been good bubbling for you, though. You could... I, I mean, they just took a mm -hmm. fuck ton of damage. And they don't know that you're there, so they can't stop shooting. And then from, like, this distance to come contest you guys, you have a lot of time to get your bubble back. A lot of this stuff is reaction time, though. Things that are just gonna come with with, with playing. That was a good bubble on the support. That was a really good priority on uh, BAP. Very nice, because then he can lamp. Okay. So this is a tricky fucking spot. It would have been cool if BAP actually windowed this a bit closer, because you could have actually played this corner and used it. But uh, from here, you can just contest this corner and burst the, the Sigma, or you can try to like literally back up here and do this kind of shit. I've had to do this on Sojourn, and it sucks because you're literally using like a fucking millimeter of window, but you've got 30 charge and that going through window is gonna put you up to like 70 charge damage. So you could actually eat some ass here. Mm. Um, so you can either choose to peek and try to do some poke damage because you almost have grav or you can play it slow. This was fine. I had no issue with this. This is good. Good. Look at you hugging your corner. <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard it! So you heard it! You heard it! 
It's good. This is good. You were playing the payload. In the, this was very nice. You were playing the payload in the corner really nice. You've got a hundred fucking charge here. This is beautiful, which means these bubbles are now meant to save lives. It's not to keep this energy up because you're going to, if you, like, if all things go according to plan, which, you know, barely happens, but uh, you're going to kill them faster than you need to get that energy back. And you're, they're going to go after your squishies behind you because no one wants to 1v1 the 97 charge Zarya anyways. So here, this was good. You were getting rid of this, like, you don't want to be in her LOS because she can two-shot you, basically. This mm. is a tricky spot here. Mm. Because you have almost grav, and you're... Why did your bap... Oh, he might have thought I was gonna... Shit. Oh, he did it to save Brig. Uh, uh, he was trying to get on me Brig. on the nano base. Okay, so this was good. You were rotating back. <laughs> this could have been prevented if your brig didn't fucking peek the bastion because bap could have lamped you coming back this is super unfortunate uh so here you have a nano bastion and you have a sigma looking at you um you don't win this ever but you can try to take some with you to build grab for next fight so when you know you're going to die at this point try to take some fuckers with you to stagger them for next fight just like literally or i could have taken that bastion right there for example yeah so, yes so here <laughs> you you have the bleeding the bleeding heart tank syndrome where you see your supports like crying to get out and you're like i'm coming i'm coming <clears throat> and like sometimes <clears throat> you have to look your child in the eye and be like die i'm sorry suffer and then play <laughs> this payload because in in comp it can you can literally win in a matter of seconds that you waste it for someone so now you just get to go i'm wasting time 2020 because they only have 51 seconds. Look who you could kill. And then Bastion dies. And then Ana's like, oh, fuck. And now Ana's looking at you, yeah? And now Sigma's up here with his dick in the wind. And your DPS are up here and they can pressure him. Do you see how you're, you can split the team up? And yeah. make technical room for your team just by being like, I'm going to play this instead. Because then you live. You hold this. And if you play your bubbles well, Sigma's going to have a really hard time killing you. Bastion's dead. You can hate crime a nanny. You can hate crime a French lady. Like, they're so... You're 97 charged. Like, you know how fast these fuckers go down with that, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say you get Bastion here, and you get Ana here. Suddenly, this feels a bit more winnable, doesn't it? It sure does. Right. So that's how we can play that differently. You just, it, but this comes with being in these lobbies of seeing, I'm down to... Like, as soon as you're down to support, play slow anyways, and look for, like, the other supports to make mistakes or the DPS. And then from there... Yeah. Because with the thing with Sigma to counter into Sigma, you can't respect his space. You just... I had to teach that to one of my <laughs> one of my uh, community members. They were playing Arissa and they were respecting Sigma space. And I was like, you have to get in that man's face <laughs> and grab him by the balls and make eye contact with him. Like, do not respect Sigma space or he's going to poke you out. So here. I don't know what this man is doing. Um, so see, yeah, here they're waiting for you. So now you don't have bubble. Just, just, just all I would do here. Is I know it's let's... coming next and I'm not ready. I want to pack a bowl. Okay, I'll take my time on this one. <laughs> Wait you here, you're waiting for everyone to come back. I would literally just bubble soldier peeking, being like, tee hee, tee hee. So he can get all charge and then you can get energy before fights even start. Because they have so much fucking time it's gonna take so long for them to actually get this to hit checkpoints so you have time to poke and i find like a lot of um like people get stressed about that of they're like i gotta touch it now i gotta win the fight now you have time you've got so much more time than you think you do and then people will accidentally stagger themselves because they're panicking and then i don't that's know it. nothing about that cool the cucumber baby this is this is a good look bubble. at my health bar so you got caught on a corner. So this is... Was I in a trap there? Do. I was in a trap. There it goes. I was wondering yeah. if I got caught on a corner or if I was in a trap there. I actually think that might be... Wait, is that my trap. Junk trap? Do they even have a junk rat? No, they don't. Oh, watch, watch, watch. Watch what happens. Delete that from the bottom, please. Thank corner. you. That's literally all that happens to me. Yeah. So this is, this is when you start learning, like, map geometry really fucking well. Because this... 
literally happened to me on overtime on tank. I died to a, a fucking Zen volley because I got stuck on the corner of a fucking payload with Zarya. It, yeah, so this one hurts. <laughs> uh, so I've, I've learned this lesson too. This is when like when people are like, oh, don't swing wide. This is kind of what they mean of here. Like, and this is the dumb fucking particulars of this rank, but this is literally how it is. So I liked that you were like, I'm gonna peek and get 40 because they're gonna burst you right away here. So you can just here. You could literally be playing just smoke right chat, here chill. Instead. This is how fucking particular you have to be like, hee hee, hee hee. <laughs> like you, this, this is too, too wide. wide. It's, it's too, too wide. wide. So you have to. So, so guess what my toxic fucking gamer trait is in Apex: over peaking. Well, then we're gonna nip it in the butt. And you're gonna be amazing. So here, like, you literally could have been like, you could literally peek half your butt cheek out. They're gonna still shoot that bubble. Like they're so hungry right now because they have momentum. So this, even though this isn't like in plat, this is not too wide, but. In Diamond and Masters, this is too wide, which is like, you can, that's why I said you could either play back here and let Soldier get energy for you and you take no damage, or I liked this peak. This is a good peak, but you literally have to be a little shithead about it. Like, just, like, just the little tippy tappies. So that's the only reason why this peak went wrong. And then Widow waited for your bubble, and then, yeah, that's, she headshot you, and then that's all that happened. But the peak itself wasn't a bad idea, because you had Grav, you want to build up that energy, because the other thing, too, is if you did this peak, and you were big chillin', and you had, like, fucking 80 energy, you could just let them push up into you, and you could stagger, like, three with your Grav and your team. So, the intention here was good, like, I saw what you were going for. <laughs> Your team waits, which is good. That was another sign I knew I wasn't playing anymore. Yep, they wait. <laughs> they waited for me and I played a game. This is how I knew Senna. I played a game and if somebody switched to Life Weaver and every time we were down and I was supposed to be backing up, he would pull me backwards and I kind of <laughs> got like, the oh, message after oh. a minute. I'm like this. He pulls me every time the fight's over and I'm like, okay. <laughs> which is good though, so he's trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 it helped. Great. It brought awareness. <laughs> So here, you started this fight off the right way. So you heard Widow Visor. And from this general direction, you can see that Brig wants to go pick a fight. And you bubbled her when she went and dove Brig. With Zarya, you want to look for as many squishies that you can single out as possible. So I actually would have, like, you, again, have time to take this 1v1. Like, look where the payload is. You can literally swing this. You go through this way and swing it with Brig. Because then you knock out that ult, and now you can push in. <laughs> See? She's- she's take- this, you win this with Brig. And if there's a bash <coughs> in here, look at how fucking out of position these guys are. You just take both the DPS, grab the supports, you win that fight. But right now, Brig is taking that. Sometimes- and it sucks, it would be easy if, like, if Brig was in voice chat telling you, like, Oh, come with me, I want to swing this Widow. But, like, Zarya, I mean, you know, it's fucking babysitting. Like, it's just... So you basically look for which child's gonna go have a slap fight with a different child, and then you pocket that slap fight. <laughs> he ate your grab, that fucking sucks. Is that so what happened here, to my grab? I wondered if he ate that. Yeah, Sucker. he sucky suckied. Yeah. So here, if what we do is... And this is like when you let the, the, the map work for you. So you saw the brig push what this way. What fucking health bar? Yeah, they're, they won't, well, because you're going to, you can eat that Sigma's ass, like, you were there, and you were always going to get focused, so it's like, that's why you have to be very careful with Bubble. So instead of going crossing this way, literally take a second, Jux, and cross that's this the way, bottom thing you've you ever just said. fucking look at them and see where the payload is, and then look what you could grab right here with Brig. Dead, mm. big booty bitch, dead mm. Bastion. From there, if you took that time, they're dead. Do you think your team could contest this? Do you think this is a winning? I think you guys could absolutely smoke this. Soldier has all, so. Yeah. So make you could, work. Yeah, so then you and Brig push up here. Brig gets to beat a bitch. You're going to get a fuck ton of energy just enabling that Brig because they're going to want her dead. And then Sigma pushes up on your team. Unfortunately, sometimes you do have to trade back lines. Like, that's the way the game is. That's how Winston and D.Va works, is sometimes you just... It's like, sorry, baby, I gotta kill two because you just died for one. Mm -hmm. So even if, like, one of your DPS die here, you fucking win this. Oh, he, you did get it. You hit... 
oh, under the fucking payload. How? Okay. I want to see it. Fine. No, 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 I need to see it. That's actually I was really wondering impressive. where that son That's of a bitch went. That's a skill shot. Bro. How the... No, because you can't carry you. with it. No, 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 let me see this. That's actually a skill shot. I have... Because I, I waited for his hand. I yes. baited it. And then I was like, no, he doesn't it. have it. See. This look like... Look at this, Kobe. <laughs> it goes right under it and hits the front. So this oh would have actually God. been this would have been good too if like you guys were like the shield just is a up, second. yeah, yeah. Like but that's okay. So the next time you want to see like you you have to like do a lot more like watching what your team is up to. So right away when you saw when you heard Widow Alt and then Brig run that way, just assume Brig found the big booty bitch and Oops. she wants revenge. Because Brig works best in tandem with Zarya when they're kind of, like, protecting each other. Because you can bubble Brig I and then her inspire jokes, I swear. keeps you up. And that's how you get away. So, tucking hmm. into this room and then helping Brig with the DPS, this is how you guys would have won that fight. Aye, aye. Yeah. I think here you guys just get staggered out. Ryan is actually good on this point. Because I knew Winton was... would not work, and I don't have Ramatra unlocked. Yes. Winton, Ramatra wouldn't have even worked either. You would have gotten oh, both. Well. Like, y like, you would have tried to get in on them to, like, pressure the squishies, and, like, they would have just focused you down. Um, Ryan is actually not bad here because you have Junkrat Soldier. Like, they can definitely do some poke damage, and you can keep them up. The nice thing with Ryan here is it's a very small point. Like... If they don't get a pass here, you literally just get to sit here and be like, hee hee hee, and hold mm -hmm. it for your DPS, and they can poke Sigma out, and if he has no barrier, Sigma's not going to walk up on you, he's going to wait. So you can play the poke game here, Ryan's not bad, but if they get in your face, this is literally a fucking arena for Ryan, look at the size of this. Yeah, this yeah, man yeah. Can cross I throw that. people off the ledge a lot here exactly. too. <laughs> so Ryan I'd be getting is, desperate. Actually, and you have a brig as well, so Ryan was not a bad pick here. I was, I was down for the Ryan pick. This, as soon as you see this fucker beep boop bop and do that, just take your shield away and fucking hide. Just, like, just, oh, bye, and just, just leave. Just let him waste it, because now, this is what sucks with that, is even though he didn't kill you, you don't have shield for next fight. And you know how fucking irritating it is to wait to get that back. Yeah. <laughs> so next time, yeah. when he rolls up on you, he boop boops, just, well, you look... You do a little, the, the Ryan tippy-tappy where you go back and forth. No tippy-tappies, you just fucking run like hell. You just go, fuck this, I'm out. And like literally just play the staircase and then tippy-tappy here and wait. Because you can look back. This is a time where you can be like, I'm going to take in information because they're not doing anything. Okay, so Soldier and Brig is here. And this is all I have, so I should be playing up here with them. That's what just tucking in and taking a second is going to let you do. You're going to be able to position yourself. So here... Now you don't have uh, a barrier for it, which kind of sucks, but you can still... I like the, the poke damage. Just play up here and poke. This is um this is the next step of playing Shambali, is this is now the high ground that you fucking do your stupid dancey around. So Widow's here. You can literally shield Soldier. Soldier can absolutely destroy a Widow here. She can get bursted out here. And then if you want, you can drop and cut that space. You could even pin bash in here. If you just play up because now you have everyone here so this is the high ground now that you like to hold on tank on this point because then i mean it's just a little hoppy poo down <laughs> if you gotta contest um and then if you have to take the stairs the nice thing this lets your supports play more passively if you hold this height because you can have a support play all the way the fuck back here and keep you up and if you decide, like, I'm taking this fight now, they can move up and still play in cover. Like, this is why, like, your positioning is so important, is so that they can position themselves safely to let you hate crime that bastion. So, Ryan's good here. This is a nice little corner to hide in. This is good. Yep, you backed up. Good stuff. Just let your, just let your uh, shield come back. Until you get to like a thousand, just 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 sit there and twiddle your thumbs. I'm a professional thumb twiddler. That's, okay, this seems sus, good. but surely I have a plan here. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, okay, we got we got dart out, so there's no dart. <laughs> Bash is wasting that, okay. 
But see, that's that's the nice thing about playing this height is that you can decide enough is enough and look at how easy it is for you to cut the space between the enemy team and you as Ryan. <laughs> and now you get to play the poke game. And that's how that's how this whole point is fucking played, basically. Or if the BAP wants to play more aggressive with you and you hold this, he windows you here and then you fucking fire strike a bitch out and insta kill them. Because that's terrifying, too, is a Reinhardt with a window. I keep forgetting that you don't get first person shield. This is nice. You're letting your soldier poke, get some alt charge. This is something I want you to practice. If your DPS aren't stupid, they're going to know. If they're stupid, that's not a you problem. Um, play here as Reinhardt and only have half your shield out so it can take less damage. And then... Soldier will also know to hug this tight, and that's going to build up the habit of not swinging so wide because it sucks when you're like out this wide. And if your shield goes down, you're like doing the the the, the squat, like the little run with your pants down. I call it the, the Reinhardt shuffle. Papers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. OK, so here the poke was good. And as soon as your shield starts to break, drop it and back up because now God, poor Bap. Because now yeah, the, the window of poke is so small in this. Like, you give him a little bit and then you go hee hee. And then you come back and you wait for them here. <laughs> so, uh, that's just from overstaying your welcome there with Soldier. And I like, I know for you, you're seeing it and you're like, Soldier's trying to peek. I'm trying to give him space so Widow doesn't get him. As soon as your shield gets low, though, that shield is for you, Amber. It's not for anyone else. It's a courtesy that Soldier gets to use it. And you're letting him borrow that space, but at the end of the day, if you don't have that shield, you can't do Reinhardt things. And you need to be able to do Reinhardt things. Here, as soon as you see um, your BAP's dead, you're right here, just fucking run like hell with your, your boost. Just skadoodle your doodle. <laughs> Rocket man! Yeah. Because now, yeah, you have to do the Reinhardt shuffle. Yeah. So there, just poke a little less. Just give like the, give your your soldier a little bit of time, and then both of you get the fuck out of there, and then play this corner here. That's that's how you basically play this point. I, anything after this, I I don't think I'm gonna need to like tell you because all of it gets solved by knowing how to play this point. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do here. They have fucking alts. That's that's <laughs> that's why it's like in the last fight it would have been good if you got out early because then you guys you had brig alt you guys could actually touch this and like not get smoked. Yeah. It's okay if your team dies before you as long as you can get out so that you guys can meet up faster. Because let's say like so your bap got picked off which fucking sucked. And then you get out fast though, and then maybe your soldier's like, oh shit, my Ryan's running, I gotta ride too, or I gotta run too, because remember, some DPS are literally gonna be following their tank's lead. Like, I got followed by so lead. many people today, it was so nice. Yeah. Yes. I went a so different way you... and people were just following me. Yeah, exactly, because oh you God, are setting yeah. the tempo, you are making the space, so that's also when you have to go, soldier, uh, it's been nice to help you poke, but it's time to get the fuck out, and he has to go, yes sir, and he's gotta follow your ass, and you can choose to help him cross if you or you can rocket your rocket man your way back here. Sure, Joe. Because if you and Soldier got, you. got out of this and you guys played this height, you have rally and you can like you could come back or you could pin this bet. Like all of this, you the world's your fucking oyster at this point if you got out early. And instead, like this is panic. Nano yeah. bash and panic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's how that happened. Here. Really? But attack, I think, is the one that you had a, a harder time with. I was watching like a little bit of it. Excuse me. Can you just, ah, uh, sir? Love Overwatch replay. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, so of course, why yeah. did you go hog here? What was your what was your intention? Like, where were you? Exclamation like, you point! Play? Shambles. We're okay, in full no, desperation yeah. mode. <laughs> we're getting fucked. We're getting it from behind, and we're trying to run away and do whatever we Got fucking you. can to get the perpetrator to get the fuck away from our anus. Okay. So, okay, Hog's actually not bad here. Um, I wanted to be a meat sack for the bashing because I'm getting mowed down. Yeah, I think so I quickly can, regret this, so you can just fast forward to the diva because I think I well, do this I'm for gonna, one fight and realize it's a terrible idea. Well, I'm going to show you how it wouldn't have actually been a terrible <laughs> okay. idea. So again, 
You play this, this you 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 hook in because Hog is about being sneaky, regardless of how not sneaky that he is. You play this high ground with him. You come up, and then you get to play here, which means your supports get to play way back here, and they're nice and safe. And you play this corner, and you basically poke, try to get the supports to use cooldowns, and from here you can hook this dumb refrigerator bitch out of position. <laughs> You can pig pen him here and your team can hate crime the Bastion mm. or the Widow. That's how you would play Hog here. Because um, Hog is actually good against Sigma in this case because you come up here and let's say Sigma's like, bah, take my shield. Mwah. You have a fucking shotgun. You know how, how long that shield's going to last and you're like, that's a waste of shield for him. Which yeah. means you will have opportunities to hook these these two shitters out of position. And, like, what's the Ana going to do from over there? The Kyrie's not going to be able to do much. What, she's going to telly in here and Suzu and get herself killed? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's how you would play Hog into this. So this is not actually bad, but it requires patience and poke. But we will go to um, where Diva is. There we go. Diva is a very good pick into this. But I know you don't play D.Va. <laughs> I'm all in your first clue! <laughs> so again, start up here. You would just you would just cross this way so Widow can't get any damage on you guys. Widow can't give any information to her team because you guys are... And then we push height this way. Let me see. I actually don't mind the off angle though, because from the off angle, you can boost up to this this point here and split the team's attention. Like you can get this Ana to look at you if your team is going to pincer. Like that's not bad. Um Yuriari, however, is by herself, so good fucking luck. <laughs> but it's just this is a beta run. <laughs> So here, I, no, 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 this is fine. So <laughs> here, if we just push left, you can do the same thing where you can like force Bastion to look at you and make room for your soldier to do his thing. Because soldier can absolutely burst down a Bastion. Or again, you come from up here because your boost is so important on D.Va. It's the same. Your boost on D.Va is just as important as your fade on Moira. Like you have to be same with the defense matrix. So like here, you could literally just contest them for free just literally boost up here and just be like pa, 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 pa. and then sigma's going to be looking at you maybe the supports are looking at you and then that is how you make room for your team in a different way now this man or woman mm -hmm. can pressure them if soldier actually went with the re that would be good your soldier shouldn't be on cart she, he should be pushing or envy whatever but this was in unintentionally worked out because look who you just forced off height. You just said, now you abandon your team, dickbag. <laughs> so here. That's exactly what I said, too. Did you hear yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from here, you have to play slow with D.Va. So this was good. Because what does D.Va have that Sigma doesn't? In his case. Defense. Versus... Wait, he kind of has a sucky sucky. Anyway. Yeah. He, she has mobility. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say you force Sigma off here and you have your support that tops you up. You can just go, hee hee. Oh, look. Look who's about to get fucked because you forced that fight. This bitch literally let Sigma drop and then be like, psych, and then hop back up and then just literally missile shoot him in the head. He's dead. Like Diva just bursted mm -hmm. him down. Mm -hmm. And your Sigma mm -hmm. has to go, no, uppies, I didn't mean mm -hmm. it. And watch his team die behind him. That's how we play Bitch. that. With Diva, you want to find the person that you can single out. Find the slowest person, the person who puts themselves just a little too out of position. That's who you want to look for. This you have to like huddle for warmth. <laughs> And try to get your blood your neck actually. Back. You're not instead. going to, but you're doing great. <laughs> Do you want to hear what the comms were here? Did you hear them? I said that if you melee a tank and get away in a certain amount of seconds, you should get your mech back instantly. I was like, like, tag, you're, you're it, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> right away. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, yeah, I sing this shit in my whole That was terrifying, though. Just the baby <laughs> demon running at you. You're like, no, 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 don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm scared of players with that much, like, boldness. Yes. <laughs> like, when like, a little Anna yes. comes behind my Reinhardt shield, I'm like, please, leave me alone. <laughs> you scare me. <laughs> so they're, they're all wanting to push left with you. That's good. So here... That's your job now, unfortunately. So your team can either decide we wait out the Widow ult and we win the fight up here because Widow can do fuck all from there, which is nice for you. So she wastes her ult or you hate crime the, the Widow. I like this. I like that you're like, no, we need this height. So this is good. This is again was you swinging too wide, though. Just mm. that little whoop. And they got that much room on you. You can like pop your head and get like bait bastion's turret form hide for a little bit and then if you want to push in you can defense matrix the last few seconds but like you're gonna kill a lot of bastions just by waiting out that turret form because your soldier actually did a fuck ton of damage up with you and so did your junk rat look this man's already half mm -hmm. yeah i never saw so, that a panic like, ran <laughs> yeah, look at me i'm leaving that, <laughs> you don't no, no no this is fine because if they're smart they're gonna back up you can tuck in and then look how fast you can come back up here like that's not bad you're trying to make your support's life a little easier coming back up here is now you have to decide am i committing to do like a back pressure, which I'm not mad at either, or do you want to come back in and help them? Because that's good too. Because you can make your ba the bastion and the cure. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with her legs? Oh my Sorry. god. She got her knees you can, done. You can get this bastion and Kiri to look at you, and then your team can absolutely fucking come up and do that. So you have to decide am I pushing up and making space that way, or am I distracting them to make space? Because both are good. Both are good. Uh oh. And then we look I got. Instead. I, the ADHD. Yes. The impulse control, the Reinhardt in so me. You already, yeah, so you already know. <laughs> I saw Barack Obama and I was pissed. Okay. Yeah, oh, no, this... look at them all looking at me because my whole team's yep. like, oh, man. Yeah, so this, I actually, you duck tucking in was fine because they forgot about you because they didn't have object permanence. And then what you should have done, and, and but we've already talked about this. We win this fight here, and then you're allowed to push this. Because you'll start to notice when teams anchor down here that you have to fucking take a fight here and then poke and push each other off. And then the fight rotates over to this corner, and that's how that fucking goes. Or they rotate out that way. So the tucking in to get a health pack, not a bad thing. That was good. And then from there, just choose, am I going to pressure them from the back line? Or am I going to come back up and push up with them? And low-key, I actually like the idea of you coming from behind them and getting them to turn their backs to your DPS. That would If only that's what I did. Let me put my tea on really quick. Mm -hmm. My water's in. My water's hot. The water's it's hot. a Govi pot, too. Did you guys know that Sinnoh was a Govi partner? I didn't. I fucking didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you look so cute in your little thank <laughs> <laughs> <Like> you, hoodie. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Okay, so I liked, I, I know the intention of here, you're like, this bitch is going to kill my team and she has visor up. But again, your team, you had really clever position. Look at how fucking useless Widow is here. Where is Widow? She's just, she's right here. You, you uh -oh. pushed to go after her. Look at how fucking useless she is. She put herself in a bad position and you guys could have, that's a 3v3. And even to, <coughs> on top of that, of you coming up here, your back is to, to Widow. She can't headshot you. She's doing, like, next to no fucking damage to you. And you she was just a presence. Here. That's literally it. She drew aggro. Yes. That bitch. Exactly. And that's how Widow gets value as well, right? Savage. So this was initially, like, what you were doing here was the right thing. And then your ADHD <laughs> brain hurt. The so enemy you... is over here! <laughs> <laughs> just skip that. <laughs> Okay, so we're back. Nothing happened. <laughs> Wait, it's lagging. What's happening? Reset. Okay. Okay. No, it's lagging. You gotta reset. It's like eight I will, frames. I will turn it on and off. <laughs> Just turn it on and off when you <laughs> I 
I just got all this. No, why is it? I'm just gonna hope that it evens out. So no. here, your Junkrat got a really fucking huge pick. Fucking Wonder Bread. God damn Wonder Bread. This is unwatchable. What's happening? I'm restarting all of Discord. Be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Don't panic. My screen Not goes panicking. black whenever I turn the chat manager on. I actually didn't even know you could still hear me because I closed Discord. <laughs> That's all the same. Oh my god. All these other launchers that have shit open in the background. Can you fucking stop? Let's call everybody to the night, y'all. Okay. Ah. Waiting for Cinepex, dude. We should get some of the Apex. Yeah. Boo, I'm back. Is it is it gonna is it gonna be good for you? It is. Perfect. Okay. So you contesting Bash in here wasn't actually bad. You just kinda went a little too deep. That's okay. You don't play Diva. <gasps> but you coming up here and taking pressure off for your team was good. This pe this poke, this is this is fine, this is good. But do it from a little tighter. <laughs> good too. You can burst out his shield. Three. Yep. Yep. Don't shoot that. Yeah. In the don't, moment, don't. about three seconds into the rockets, I was like, wait, I'm giving him shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> low already. Okay, yeah, here, let I'm me explain myself. Wait, 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 let me explain myself. I... <laughs> Diva's dash is crazy. It's way faster I than I thought it was, dude. dude. I know. I get, I, this happens to me, too, where I'm like, I just want to go, like, a fucking centimeter. It's like, yeah, six man. feet? You mean, you oh mean 600 God. feet? Yeah. It's so fast. So here, you would actually just hold this ledge and keep pressuring. Like, not even go in. That's it. That's- sometimes with D.Va, it's just to be an annoying fuck. I wanted to stay so in the room and bank out and go out the other window. That was the game plan. <laughs> I mean, you got- you got out, it was good. And then you're back to where we are, which is we just poke here. Yeah, wait that out. So here, instead of going in, you waited out the Bastion for him, which is good. I want you to start using the map to your advantage. These windows, you get to see where the enemy team is. So take a minute and take some info in. So here, because remember, we want to single people out on D.Va. And this is a hard comp to hate crime. So here, if you take a minute, we can see Widow is here and Anna's here. So you can let your team push this corner, and now you can off-angle and get Widow to look at you <clears throat> instead of the team. So you could be playing here now. Maybe you can shoot this Ana and make her get stressed and she wastes dart on you and you eat it up with Defense Matrix. Or you're peppering this Widow and she's like, shit, I can't stay here. And maybe she'll come move up here. But you just playing this and being like, hee hee hee. That's how you're making room for your team, is not even actually being up on the point, but distracting them so that they have less eyes on them. Especially Sigma, because Sigma falls apart when his team's not supporting his poke, because then he just gets poopoo cucked on. Death. So he, so there you would have just taken a little more time to take in some information. You could even grab the health pack down there if you want to top up, and then actually just keep fucking poking. Thanks for the six on three sub. Holy take shit, homie. Here and pressure I up appreciate that. And just boost I hate back six in months. The same way you came back out and literally just bunny hop back and forth here if you wanted to. 
That flew by. You still have time to touch here, though. Still, it's always winnable. It's always Play winnable. Play solo whistle. And you have bomb. The thing was a diva's bomb as well. And I was taught this by my friend. He's a fucking top 500 diva, and he's particular. Typically, you want to use bomb for either a last ditch effort, or this is a second life of like get away from me, like pepper spray. Will you go and get a second mech? Hmm. That's that's what I was taught. So now, as you can see, we're back to this stage where we have to win this <laughs> fight up here. And your soldier knows that very well because he keeps going and doing the same shit. So that's, you would literally just rinse and repeat this from here. Um. TV Jazzy, oh, thanks for the follow. Shot. She got him through the window. Your soldier should have just waited because you still have time to touch and you have bomb. Looking around. Yeah, Down this is just the unfortunate. Friend. I stopped there. Maybe I made it because I remember throwing the bomb and just running out of time. Yeah, because you can literally go over this wall here and touch cart at any point, Trip. so you guys have time. Yeah. So here, we're gonna- we're gonna lose this. It is what it is. You would literally just fucking start this process over again and take this height. Or, you can come up this wall and touch cart. And then- what, how the fuck did Zen get here? <laughs> He's a toucher that he's a little toucher. Okay, well, you could have like come up here and actually maybe kill Bastion because he's discorded, but I mean that's still this is still a messy situation. Your soldier should have just waited a second for you to engage. Um You have to play slower on Diva than you think you need to. Like that's something I had to learn is you have to like you do a lot of poking and you kind of have to play like a sneaky little opportunist, but Diva was a good pick into this. And you were, you guys did make space, like, you did make space, like, this, what you were doing up here, like, this was so fucking good, what you did up here, like, you completely took this option, this whole spot here, away from that enemy team. Like, Bastion did, had no fucking presence, Sigma had no presence, look at, like, how you just sitting here forced the whole fucking team to be like, fine, they can have this spot, we now have to rotate here. So you contesting up here was really nice, and then you just got to play it slower and go, okay, now I'm going to just do a little extra poking. Maybe I'm just going to get them to look at me and then run away and tee -hee and grab this. And then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to do a little extra poking. Because I have to tell you, as like an Ana or a Widow, the thing that fucking irritates me the most is when there's a sneaky little diva or a Winston or a Ball off angling and getting like my team's attention. And then the enemy team just pushes up on us and makes it, and that's but that's how you make room with dive characters is you have to do a lot of soft engaging. So the too long didn't read is we have to swing even tighter than we did before. Every little millimeter fucking counts, unfortunately. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Play a little slower and always contest high ground. When you're in a fight, just look where is the high ground. That's where the fight should be. And if they're giving you high ground for free, take advantage of it. So like you playing D.Va here and forcing the Sigma to drop height. Look at like how much room you guys got because you just forced him to drop height and then took that high ground from them. That's that's how powerful that is in this fucking game. Um, and then. Just watch your team, see where they want to take fights or if they're taking fights, because there are times where like Brig was doing stuff, and you could have gotten really free energy from her being very aggressive. Uh, especially if you're Zara and you have Brig, play with your Brig. Like, because people want Brig dead so fast. Um, save your bubbles for your teammates a lot more often. Like, even if they're half health, like, bubble them when they're, like, lower than full health. Because that's when the desperation shooting starts. Like, get them, they're low, they're low, they're low! And then they fucking bubble. That's when those are, those are good Zarya bubbles. Or that Zarya that feels like they just won't fucking die because <laughs> they're just managing their bubbles because yeah. they use their shield. And once you just start to dip into your health, that's when you're going to pop your shield. So bubble management, um, peak even fucking tighter, contest high ground, and just play a little bit slower. Give yourself some time to process what the fuck's going on. And also don't chase the shiny widow. <laughs> if you have cover, don't chase the widow. <laughs> <laughs> But you Fucking had some good stuff here. Like, it wasn't like you just completely lost. Like, you had some really good points. Like, 
this you doing this on Devo was really awesome. And then when Soldier was visoring here, you bubbling him and waiting for him to touch and stuff, that was really good too. Like you have the stuff sitting in there. It's just the tempo of the lobbies. But you're gonna go back to plat and this is gonna feel very slow in comparison to Masters, so Yeah, Masters is fucking crazy. And playing like sneaky like that too is gonna help your support, especially when you're on Ana. Because you can, like, that's why Ana is so fucking strong. Is if it's an Ana with game sense, she can pick apart a team. She can see who's out of position, who can I anti, who can I pressure. Can I sleep the tank because they're super out of position and then we fuck up the tank? Like, that's why Ana feels so fucking oppressive. It's because she can take advantage of people's bad decisions. Yep. Agree. So. But next, if you want to play Hawk into this, you totally can. It's just peaking, like. And, and waiting and then trying to hook someone out of position. But you had some good stuff here. I'm really proud of you for not running it down main because Ooh. I see tanks and masters fucking do that where they just W key down main and die. <laughs> so you got that <laughs> over a lot of them. You just now it's just like learning the tempo of fights and stuff. But hopefully, I mean, you go into plot and you can see like people making those dumb fucking mistakes and then you just get to take advantage of them now. We'll see. I hope that helped. It did. It was very informative. Good. I'm sure I'll come crying to you again. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for taking time out of your uh, Saturday to come Thank you help us understand uh, how not to get shitted on. Because I know that's like kind of hard for someone to like lay out mistakes and stuff. So I appreciate you. Um, if it leads to me dominating and not having that experience again, I don't give a fuck what I have to do, bro. Then I am always here if you want even an Anabot or something. If you want to be poo poo cuck on oh, people, you can always bug me. I'll do yeah. offline ones for you. I'm too. not going to play a tank for the rest of the night because I'm medicated, but yeah, yeah if you want to play tomorrow or something offline, let me know for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay, my tea is okay. done, so cool. I'm going to go. Bye. I'm going to take this blanket off. I'm going to run as I'm going to get my tea, and then we'll play support DPS on this account and see what happens. I almost pressed stop streaming for like literally no reason. That's crazy, run out.